has begun. We're going to move into the next game of the Clash of the Houses. Right now, the World All-Stars are ahead 4-3 to three over Team Incredible Miracle. Here we go. The loading screen has commenced. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm so excited. So excited for the game to continue loading. There it goes. All right. Okay, so it is going to be a PVZ. Yeah, and apparently, um, although we are not allowed to cycle the maps, but since we are playing 8v8, we have to do so for sure. So, Doa, why don't you take it away? All right, well, we have got Incredible Miracle Seed spawning as our purple Protoss player down at the bottom right position of Shakuras Plateau. His opponent is going to be the beastly Zerg from Sweden, Miles Maro, spawning as our red Zerg player up at the top left position on Shakuras Plateau. Maro has already taken out two members of Incredible Miracle, and he's going to try to add a third on. We're going to have to see if he can. I haven't seen Seed play for quite a while. He had some very interesting strategies in the GSL Team League before this most recent Team League. It was like two Team Leagues ago that we saw him play. I think he eliminated maybe two or three players in one of his matches. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't able to qualify for Code though. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, there are so many good players in GSL at the moment. You have to remember, um, Code has MVP and Slayer's Boxer, and you went to the Kobe qualifiers and you saw how yeah. many insanely good players were there. Lots of good players and uh, a lot of good players that didn't make it. Actually, um, we made Fox Moon didn't qualify. Um, Seed didn't qualify. Um, a lot, all of our foreign players didn't qualify. So that's just how ridiculously hard the Code qualifiers are. I mean, they are very, very difficult. I believe you have to win something like five bef best of threes in a row to qualify for Code against uh, really some of the best players in Korea. Um, Lucira is a, a great example of uh, what we talk about when we say that a lot of the best players in Korea you don't even get to see play because here's a guy who uh, just destroyed Code A, got into Code S immediately, but wasn't able to qualify for like the first three seasons. So there are a lot of good players out there that we just don't see either, and I think uh, I'm Seed could definitely be qualified as uh, one of those as well, so we'll have to see if Maro can take him out. Maro going with gas first, getting his blue, he's going to want to get a very fast zergling speed. Nice timing there, able to start that immediately after the spawning pool starts. Mm -hmm. Well, here we see, like you said, Frosh opening for Seed over there, and he is going to be able to defend this pretty easily um, with just putting up a gateway and maybe two cannons behind the gateways and get a couple of sentries up to defend if there's any aggression coming from the Zerg player. So definitely this would be a very macro map. Pretty standard play from both Zerg and Protoss um, on Shakura's Plateau here when it's a ZBP matchup. And, you know, Zerg's alternative is to either go for a tiny attack with roaches or speed beans. Otherwise, the other thing you can do is just to expand. I mean, there's nowhere else to go about that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Zerg has been running into a lot of problems with Protoss lately, obviously. Um, you don't need me to tell you that, that they've been having issues dealing with force fields, dealing with lots and lots of stalkers. Colossi really haven't even been as much of an issue as they have been in the past. Um, we've kind of seen the rise of the mass, mass blink stalker armies. And um, I'm really kind of curious to see what Seed is going to do. He had very interesting compositions. The last time we saw him, he was one basing using kind of a crazy Void Ray Immortal stalker sentry mix. It was a very bizarre combination. Right now it looks like he's playing for a much more standard game. Getting a second gas right now after doing that forge expand. Mara will see everything. He does see the second gas and um, that's going to give him a little bit of information but at this point it is kind of a little bit tough to tell what seed is going to go for. Mara is getting his roach horn as well um, which is pretty standard against Protoss these days. I'm curious to see if he is going to go for that fast road speed. Um, what do you kind of prefer in the ZVP right now Kelly? Mm, well, recently we've all been experimenting with drops. I mean, you've seen like Moonglade trying to do a lot of drops as well. Uh, Morrow is st sticking to very standard Zerg play, I would say. But yeah. he is not expanding at all and he wants to go for that timing attack. Yeah, it looks like Morrow actually did cancel that ca hatchery. He is going to go all in with Roaches. 
Roach all in from Maro. This is one of the strategies that they've been working on here at the GOM house. Nobody wants to get into a long game against a Protoss player, so uh, a lot of uh, pretty beastly all-ins have been developed. And here's one of those right now, going Speedling Roach. The question is, is Seed going to have enough cannons to defend against this? He only has one sentry right now, and that's not going to be enough to block that whole ramp. Maro can either take out that pylon and run Speedlings in, or he can just move enough Roaches up the ramp to try to get those two cannons. It's going to be really, really close, though. So second sentry out for Seed right now. Here comes Maro, though. Roach is moving up the ramp. Where the force field's going to go. He's going to... Not the best force field, oh really, for I am Seed. Maro's still able to fire at that cannon. That cannon does go down. Maro trying to take out the other one. Last force field will go out. No more force fields for I'm Seed. Maro may actually get in here. The last cannon getting very, very low. Maro getting in, taking down both the cannons. This all in may actually work. These other cannons are not going to finish. I'm Seed with nothing but probes to defend. Maro is a cold stone face killer in this team league right now. Roach is in the main base. This pylon is powering. Both of the gateways for Seed, it goes down. GG, Morrow takes down his third opponent. An incredible miracle. This is absolutely amazing. The Gom House ahead by two now. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. That's oh, like enough, MC. Sorry. That's like the Zerg of MC. I mean, the MC of Zerg. Oh, I, I guess I can't call it the Gom House anymore because we're going to have a Huck and Jin role play. So it is going to be the foreign all stars. But man, wow. <laughs> he just did an MC over there. It. Maro's got fire in his eyes tonight. If this was like a standard first to four win, Maro could potentially actually do that team kill. Good job, Maro. I say that and I turn around and he's standing right there and he just says, maybe. <laughs> He says he's <laughs> he says he's proud he won against a Protoss. That doesn't happen every day. <laughs> Very good. Yes. I was proud that I won against a Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Maro, when you saw him go for that Forge Expand, was that kind of when the switch went off in your head to do that Roach all-in, or is that something you kind of planned before the game started? Uh, I, when I saw the Forge Expo, I thought like, yeah, I can do this. And before the game, I knew that this all-in is really good against Forge Expand as well. If Protoss plays on one base, his build is very, very bad. So, cool, so. so I was quite happy that he did a Forge Expand, to be honest. When you moved up the ramp and saw those two sentries, um, were you a little bit worried? Where is there a moment where you're like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work? Yeah, it, it's always like that. I'm My my Sargeras Protoss isn't the best, so I, I don't quite know what Protoss can have. I'm like thinking, is there going to be a void very soon or so? But it's really like, go, you have to go, attack, so it doesn't matter what Protoss is doing, because you have to win right there. So you've taken down three members of Incredible Miracle already. Um, there's not a whole lot left. Out of the players that remain on their team, who would you prefer to play against? Uh, who's left again? Um, well, MVP is left, um, Nesty is left, Lucira, <laughs> so, Young Wah. Horror? Possible. What do you say? Horror. Oh, horror. I'm horror, yeah. So the, the quote-unquote best players of Incredible Miracle have left to play, but out of them, who would you prefer to play against? Um, Tyron. Like, MVP, MVP or Horror? For sure. Yeah. Horror is Zerg. Oh, he is? I think, is MVP their only... I'm, I'm so sorry. Left? I don't know. Oh, uh, only 18, <laughs> Yeah, yeah the German Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Recruited by I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, yep. best of luck in the next game. Thank you. And, uh, keep killing him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not biased. I'm totally unbiased casting. <laughs>